Sam from Mountford's Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So I almost forgot to hit the record button. I have already started my journey home. Now, the reason why I'm taking you for the car journey home is because I started this when I started my new job and people suggested to me that I do this about once a month so that you can see how the landscape and the countryside changes over the seasons. So here we are. So, you will have to excuse me tonight guys. I am feeling exceptionally tired. It has been a bit of a drawn out day. Um, but that's okay. Not every day is uh, rainbows and sunshine. Um, nothing in particular went wrong or anything like that. It just seemed to be a bit long and arduous. So I'm feeling rather tired now. Anyway, how are you all doing? Are you okay? Let me know down in the comments. What are you up to? What are you working on? What's happening in your life? I'm just work, work, work predominantly to be honest with you but I am filming this on the Tuesday evening on my way home from work I believe it is the 16th of July 2024 you're seeing it tomorrow on the 17th of July well hopefully if my um, internet works for me to upload the video so yes what are you up to what are you doing Thankfully, I only have today when you were watching this to get through and then I have booked myself a long weekend off of work. I have the Thursday, the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday to use up some of the annual leave that I have managed to accrue. So I thought I would take advantage of the last couple of days of the children being at school um, just to have some peace and quiet and to get some things done at home that would be quicker if nobody else was there so that's my plan I will also be able to do it in my own time as well there's no rush there's no panic and I hope that the weather is dry enough for me to catch up on laundry and boring stuff like that so yes like I said it is July 2024 It was absolutely pouring with rain this morning, but it has brightened up for our journey home, which is fabulous. But I will be taking you a slightly different way home tonight, guys, because for a couple of weeks now, the road leading in to the town I drive through is closed for road maintenance. So I do have to take a little detour but it's absolutely fine, it's not a problem. Essential work needs to be done, so we will go the detoured way home. Now, I am not a heat lover at all, guys. In fact, I'm not a big summer fan, but let me tell you, the summer we've experienced so far here in my little part of the UK has been absolutely atrocious like i said it was pouring down with rain this morning and now at 12 minutes past five in the evening while i'm recording it is only 16 degrees celsius so it's not cold but it's certainly not the scorching summers that my friends over in the us are experiencing let's just say it has been a typical lackluster summer so far and even though i don't like being too hot and even though summer is not my favorite a smidgy bit more sun and warmth wouldn't go amiss so although it's looking bright as you can see it's not beautiful glorious sunshine or anything like that tell me about the weather where you are is it scorching hot if you're in the northern hemisphere is it freezing cold if you're in the southern hemisphere are you a little bit meh and damp 
like us here in the UK. It's just all a little bit rubbish, to be honest. So yes, I'm just bimbling my way home. Gonna enjoy my dinner, get uh, the children's homework sorted, and then I have a date with my hook. Yes, indeedy I do. I um, haven't had a lot of crochet time again, um, which is very frustrating, but it can't be helped. Um, my little Max's birthday is on Thursday, but he's got a normal school day, so we are actually going to be celebrating it tonight, the day you are watching it, not tonight, the day I'm driving home, the day you are watching, just so that we can all be together, so that he can open his presents and have his special favourite birthday tea and birthday cake, because on the actual Thursday, he has football training, one of his brothers has football training, um, Mike's daughter has her school play to perform, so everyone's a little bit scattered on his actual birthday, so we are actually going to celebrate um, tonight so that we're all together and obviously we did the early birthday celebrations this weekend just gone we went to the movie theater to watch inside out 2 which i thoroughly enjoyed and do you know what guys i've actually for a few years now believed that i've been cursed because normally every time i am at the cinema as we call it the movie theater I see the first half an hour of a film in the last 10 minutes because I inevitably fall asleep. But this time I didn't. I managed to stay awake for the whole movie. I really enjoyed it. And then we had a treat of McDonald's for our dinner on the way home because where I live, we do not have a lot of fast food restaurants or takeaway places. So when we do get a McDonald's it really is a once in a blue moon treat so yes if you've watched some of these driving videos you will realize that we have gone a slightly different way we are still on the moors but we are currently driving through a golf course that's why you saw people with their golf bags um, yeah so they're enjoying an evening of golf popular, very expensive I've been told. Um, golf is not a pastime or a sport that I indulge in. Mike absolutely loves golf. He has never played on this golf course because he is very limited for time as well. Um, but never say never folks as you know the years roll on and maybe work commitments slow down a little. Maybe when we have a bit more free time and the children have grown up a bit more be able to indulge in that a little bit more who knows i think that's what he's hoping for um yeah so just around this corner you have the golf golf clubhouse i think that's what you'd call it i don't really know guys it's not my bag so yeah just on the right hand side here is the clubhouse we are gonna safely and slowly maneuver around that pony. And then we are gonna navigate through the outskirts of town to get through to where I need to go home. So yes, like I said, a slightly different route, but that's okay. You will be able to see that there is more than one way for me to get to work. Some days that's a blessing, other days it's a bit of a curse because you think, oh, shame, if only I couldn't get to work. <laughs> or is that just a little cheeky of me? Who knows? Who knows?
and I know I say it every time but I really am so lucky to live in the part of the world that I do forgot to hit the record button guys very remiss of me I do apologize but I made it in the end yes I did beautiful park maybe I'll take you one day who knows who knows many a childhood memory in that park and it's still to the right of us we're going along its perimeter this is the bridge over the river and then coming up is a roundabout and the statue in the middle of the roundabout is of Sir Francis Drake who lived in this town he was born and raised in this town, Spanish Armada. I don't know if you can actually see him all that well. There he is. But we are going to the left of him. So yes, the little town that I grew up in had him, a famous person from years gone by who lived here. have much. 
thunderous thing when it goes right, but it is a big pain in the peach when it goes wrong. And we all know that technology isn't always Mamfa's favourite thing or her strong suit. You wouldn't think that I work on a computer all day long, guys. massive amount of winging it I feel takes place but there we have it I'm doing all right I'm being told I'm doing it to a good standard so can't complain can't complain like I said one more day of work while you're watching this and then I have the rest of the week off I am super looking forward to it need a bit of a brain reset as well just to you know decompress from the work constraints and re-energize hopefully get some crochet time in like i said hopefully get some of those jobs that need time and attention done and out of the way
that I had in fact pre-ordered it or what date it was due to arrive and I had already filmed this week's book book so it was just a blip on Mamfa's scheduling but that's alright a lot of you might like to see it so I'm hoping you won't mind plus it's a bonus video so if you don't want to be watching it the same week as another book look you can come back and watch it whenever because it's going to be on my channel forever guys yes indeedy so yeah we've gone over the bridge we are now in Cornwall and we are nearly home
don't have to reverse because that is super annoying. Helps that I have got another car in front though because if there's only one coming up, they'll have to go back for us too. But it's looking like we're clear. That hardly ever happens. Maybe you guys are my good luck charm. Thank you. And then I'm gonna turn right. Wednesday midweek. Hope the rest of your week goes swimmingly as well. Like I said, don't forget to come back tomorrow for the last ever Tile of the Week Thursday episode and then that bonus video of the new Megan Lap pattern book. So I have switched the engine off. I am indeed home. I am going to go in and get myself sorted. Thanks for driving with me, guys, keeping me company. I will see you tomorrow, but until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye guys, love you loads.